This is big. <laughs> Thanks, Ninja Blevins, for the advert. Um, my ad blocker doesn't work, obviously. So, uh, that's real good. Hi, everyone. There we go. Hi, guys. Is that low light compensation actually on? This is way, way more flickery than I expected it to be. Oh, yeah, that's worse. Okay. That's that's where we like it. Yo, B! Hey! Welcome! The time of battle has come! What's that one from, like, House of the Dead 2 where it's like, that's just the final- and that's how the meat grills. B. V. Where he's like, this is the final battle, or whatever. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's the it's the finale of Metal Gear Solid 4. It has taken me eight months of having this game to actually get to beating it. Um, my chair's going very slowly today. That was the announcer of Street Fighter 4. Ah! Yeah, I, don't, I didn't play any Street Fighter 4. Um... I've, I've never had to play any Street Fighter games full stop, honestly. I want to see what you're drawing, hell yeah. Let's let's see this. To imagine what it'd be like without... Oh, okay. Side note. Ah, Shadow World, a good song. Maybe. Maybe. Faith in each other. Got the wrong HDMI plugged in. Give me two seconds. Going under the going under the table. A better chair. This will all get sorted when I move, don't worry. Alright, let's see. Yo, that's some sick art, B. <laughs> I want to add some more music to the playlist at some point. I'm 
mean, I had like a couple of SMT4 songs the other day. And then that was it. Whatever this is, this is Shadow World from Persona 4 Golden. Mostly cutscenes? That's what we'd love to see. This is a Metal Gear finale after all. Oh, yeah, my controller turned off again. Great. Sync sync to my PS3 please. It's just it's just it's just flashing. It's doing it's doing now. I have to plug it in. I have to plug it in, aren't I? What if I just played the finale of this game with a stick? Because I can get my stick working with this with this console. I do it for Ultimax. Oh, it's connected. I can't, it'll be awful, because I have to toggle between using the left and right stick at all times. Uh, but it is possible. Oh, I don't have a game plugged in, because I switched out my uh, my hard drive. I'm really not prepared today. MGS3 on a stick? Oh, absolutely. When I get a hold of the HD collection, I will run this entire game on stick. Or, or not, no, not four, but three. Maybe I'll go back to one. One seems like the most mechanically simplified game. But I will run one of them on a stick. Ah. Maybe I'll switch out my uh, sub goal. Because right now, Persona 4 Dancing seems like a follower goal sort of thing. Um. Yeah, without further ado, we're going into the game. There goes the there goes the P4 music. Uh where are we looking? There we are. There it is up in the corner. But yeah, we are, we are, like, I, I will play this game to completion today, because I know I'm near the end. Hope you enjoy button mashing. Oh, I think I know what you mean. I, I checked, like, the contents of this chapter to make sure I was actually, like, gonna finish it today and wasn't clickbaiting in the title. Um. So yeah, I'm now aware of what you mean. <laughs> Let the game be in tiny corner mode for the whole stream. This is this is. I mean, isn't this what like? Sorry, I'm I'm clagging. I've had a Kit Kat. It's just messed up my throat now. There are streams where it'll be like that. Where it'll be like, you know what? No, we'll we'll make a new scene. I'll show what it's like. Where it's like, uh, video capture is like this. Okay, so it's like this. Um, I'm not mirrored this time. And then, um, it's another video capture device, right? So it's like that. And they're like, and that they're like, all right, guys, welcome to my let's play of Metal Gear Solid Four. Um, well, you know, I, I hope I hope everybody enjoys. Uh, wow, I can see everything. No, that's what it was. What am I thinking? Of? Uh, what was that reaction channel called? Oh, what was what was he called? Reaction channel. Not flight. I know it's not flight. It's a uh, it's another dude. Who I don't think does anything anymore. Oh, I can't remember his name. Well, that, or you could have like the just the, the big titty streamers who do this, and then it's like 
attention on this and then the game's just up here. That You know what, actually that's the most like visually unappealing way to do it. I'm looking here, game is behind me. Oh, I could just make like the worst possible let's play here. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it normally. Remove this scene. Go away. Oh, fight night, that doesn't exist anymore. There we go. Ah, but yeah, we're just we're just finishing up out of heaven. We just be screaming mantis, psycho killer, Keskase. I don't know. She's dead. Well, she's not dead. I made sure that. Fight night. It was a thing I tried to do a while ago. Where it was like I want to make. Oh, this is loud. Whereas I was saying like I want to make FGC like fighting game streams like an important event. And then I realised I should be doing the opposite of that, and I should be making fighting game streams just like... Very briefly, I had my own thing, kind of like Friday Night Fiesta, where it's like, whenever I did a fighting game with friends, I would do that. Uh, but I scrapped it really quickly because I wasn't having fun, I was trying to force it. And then I realised, fight if I want to be a fighting game streamer, I shouldn't be making fighting games a special event. That should just be a common event. So I just dip, dip, dipped it in. Tentacle Lady? Uh, yeah, Tentacle Lady was was, was 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 the first boss. That was Laughing Octopus. Uh, for now, we're going into a giant microwave. Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. It's not about winning. Uh, uh. Well, okay. Am I missing anything on either of these sides? Probably. Oh, no, I can't climb these. Give me camo, buddy. Oh yeah, that changed me ever so slightly. Get a ration. Why don't we get somebody else? Yeah, I don't. Unless I can find one, I don't think I can buy him from Drebin. Yeah, they. I, I don't have any. Uh huh. This will be fun. I've got nothing to lose. You were the lightning and Ah, tag. How's it going? I've never. I've never played. Um. Shout of the Hedgehog. I'm gonna play that with the house. How's it going, Tag? How's it? How are you hanging? Go. Well, there was a mental recap of everything that's happened. Finish work. Hell yeah. Oh man, I'm back in work on Wednesday. I don't want that. You have a bullet on your earring. You saw it. Someone's gonna come in clutch here, right? Akiba. Akiba was was there, right? Meryl. Johnny. Hey. Johnny. Uh, kind of. Johnny, They're right. real people, but they ghost when they die. But only the frog unit. Huh. You trying to make up for being late? Late or unconscious? There's there's a difference, I think. Yeah, the frog unit. <laughs> More like frog unit. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> you tell him, Meryl. Tell me something. How come Mantis couldn't control you? I figured 
She probably used people's nano machines to manipulate their behavior. Nano machines. Nano machines? No control. That's the explanation for everything. But don't you? No. I don't have any nano machines in me. I don't know why, but yeah, okay, sure. Every time we had mandatory shots, I ducked out. Don't tell me you knew this was gonna happen. Johnny was an anti-vaxxer. I just hate needles. So that's why you were always out of sync with the team. Johnny. I tried to keep track of everybody's data on my wearable, but I could never keep up. And why you were affected in Europe on the Volta. Yep. Asshole. <laughs> Johnny, I'm running low. Don't worry. I got these from Drebin. Meryl. Why, yeah, why is he suddenly a good soldier? I don't like this. This isn't right. Forget it. <laughs> no anti shit, nano machines. Nano machines weren't there to suppress them? Yeah. But if you're afraid of shots, why'd you join my team? Oh, it really it really was just like anti anti shit nano machines. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, alright. I've always loved you. Ever since Shadow Moses, when I first laid eyes on you. Yeah, we beat your ass and left you stuck naked. Meryl, marry me. You've got a hell of a sense of timing. What do you say? I have to say, no. <laughs> You'd rather stay single? Okay, but we don't have to make it official. No. Well, how about we just move in together then? Nope. This is not the ship. Meryl says so. Why? Is there something wrong with me? Yes. No. I just rather do things my way. Johnny. Marry me. Uh, what uh, what? Say it again. It's, it's the shit, man. But yeah. Marry me. Sure, it'd be my pleasure. No, how about it? How about it? Not today. Nope. None of this. Why? Why? Why is it like this? Why? 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 I hate this game. I hate this game. Meryl and Johnny Ship Pan is not... What? Snake and Autocon is fine. I ship it. Ever since Metal Gear Solid 2. Ever since the Autocon ending of 1. But Meryl and Johnny Shitpan is just... No. Like Johnny's Johnny's like struck lucky here, I'll give him that, but and I want a real wedding with flowers and a cake. <sighs> it's been my dream since I was a little girl. <laughs> yeah, this is this is just Pretty much. Come on, that sucks. Yeah, he's been in every Metal Gear Solid game as a character who inconveniently poops himself whenever he sees a woman, or just. Nope, not for not for your eyes. There we go. All right. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, babe. Wow. Woo. I hate this game. Oh, hey, mini geckos. I'm just gonna yoink. Ow.
Hey, alright, that's it. I've had it. I'm shooting one of you. Oh god, one of them is on me. I will need a ration more. Right, give me the bullets, give me the bullets. Ow. Alright. No, you know what? We're doing this the easy way. We don't need the Mantis doll. We need the RPG. Yeah, that's that's a lot of hands. It's not cute if you've played the rest of the series. Let me tell ya. Ow. Ow. Oh, I'm dead ass gonna die. What? That was just for fun, that last bit. Alright, I need to... I'm moving automatically. Why am I moving automatically? <laughs> I have no health. This is gonna go well. The giant enemy microwave. See that? There was a tiny bit of 60 frames a second there. Snake? I'm going to die. Snake! Yeah, I'm old snake. Not even solid snake in this game. Just old. Yeah, he does he does this sometimes. He's he's just kinda dying. A lot. They're not working. Come on! Get up! On your feet, snake! He's about like thirty or forty in this game, yeah. We'll go with like thirty five, sounds about right. Basically, he ages rapidly because of the nano machines inside of him, um, and also they're killing him from the inside because it's like fox die but worn down. Oh no, they've 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 diagnosed what's wrong with him. The rapid aging was installed in the nano machine so that he couldn't live for much longer, and then also the fox die inside of him is just mutating so that it's attacking every cell instead of specific cells. And it's Raiden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, best character in the series. I love him so much. I'm so ready for Metal Gear Rising. It won't be soon, uh, just as a heads up, but I am so ready for it. <laughs> I was trying to kill you, Snake. Leave this to me. I but I missed. I can't. I can't do his voice. I can't. I can't do Raiden's voice well. Where does arms go? Oh, he's got them. I think they're just broken. The corridor's full of microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know what they mean. It's like the the microwave I actual can waves and that. I can take it. But... Your body may be a machine. I just like to imagine it's just a room full of, like, regular microwave ovens. Human. You've got a life to go back to. She means nothing to me now. Because he- B, because he's dying. He's- he's just dying. Yeah, Raiden stopped, like, the boat that we're currently on. You still have your youth. Don't waste it. You can start over. Oh, what happened to him and Rose? Oh, you know, they kind of, like, broke up after Raiden became a drunkard all the time and he never even met his child and then Rose married the Colonel. Made your life a living hell. Like Colonel Campbell. Sure 
Yeah, Ro yeah, Rose married the Colonel. Um, but it, it was mostly, like, to get Rose out of there with Raiden. But also, like, I don't know, man. She also married the Colonel. Which is why Meryl doesn't like the Colonel in this game, because she's like, oh, he married someone literally my age, this is gross. And it's, like, half justified, and also still gross. I don't know, man, Metal Gear Solid 4. It's nearly over. <laughs> oh, thank you, Long Tall Barry, for the Stay Hydrated. You got it, buddy, brother, buddy. Bussy. I think they're like married, married. Lock it from the inside. Oh, my health went up. That's good. I can put on the young snake outfit if you want to look to look like I'm like like I'm a youthful boy again. Thank you. Raiden but Raiden's here to live, right? Raiden's living, that's what's happening. Keep old snake, yeah, you're right. Yeah, welcome, buddy. Feet. Think snake fox. Yeah, the the toe socks are weird. It's I think that's robotic. Probably I don't know. I don't know what of Raiden is and isn't robot at this point, other than like the top of his head and the heart apparently. Yeah, snake just fell down some stairs and kind of collapsed, and that was it. The microwaves. The clones are sterile? Ah! Probably, actually. Because they were made to, like, only happen once. Oh, man. Huh. Are you all right? My solid snake arm. Come on, snake, you've got it. You got this. Johnny! No! Meryl, what? Nah! I think something- yeah, my suit's exploding. Get up, snake. Buddy, I'm trying! Have I got to just mash triangle now? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah man, snake ass fat. Mei Ling better not be dying here, right? In case you couldn't tell, this is chronologically the final Metal Gear Solid game. Oh, I can see the end. I mean, I too would simply walk through the microwaves, but I don't know. Bro, I'm dying. As, as a matter of fact, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I should have stopped at three. I mean, actually, Kojima wanted to stop at three. If you if you want to know, Kojima was like done by three, and then did more anyway. Hey, I'm getting cooked in this microwave. I gotta I gotta find a good mashing position.
I don't have a good mapping position. I'm dying, Otacon. <laughs> Sonny's making eggs! Oh, my baby! No! Buddy, I'm trying! Am I dead? Did I live? Am I dead? Am I just game over there? Yeah, Sonny learned to make eggs all by herself. Yeah. Oh, I made it. Okay. I'm fried. Oh, the solid eye going to turn. Oh yeah, because I suddenly stopped being able to use it. That makes sense. Oh, gross. Oh yeah, that just fried my eye, huh? Uh, yeah, you, you've missed, like, most of the game, Henry. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can, I can fill in on this. So this is GW. That's Henry, yeah. Basically, uh, this is the culmination of everything from every Metal Gear Solid game coming to an end. What do you mean putting a hamster in the microwave? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it's the oh, it's the boss's graves. Yeah, oh, because the flowers, yeah, and because GW was created by the Patriots and. Uh, okay, I'm getting it. Yeah. This is, well, GW's an AI, because it was the AI in Metal Gear Solid 2 that was messing with Raiden the whole time. Apple MacBook. Uh, so, Henry, to fill you in, basically, Liquid owns the world and the AI that controls the world nearly pretty much so we're trying to stop him that's that's the basic rundown we are we are like minutes away from liquid trying to stop him also I better see some some lots quite liquids in chat for the final boss Oh yeah, Liquid's still alive. No. Oh no, he was alive in two. Because remember, he lived on through this arm. I should specify that it's Liquid Ocelot. Because it's Liquid Snake in Ocelot's body. Oh yeah, the Comblood's back. Just use your arms! Yeah. Yeah, he's not doing too hot right now, because, you know, a lot of people with guns versus one man with no arms. And a sword in his mouth. Slash feet. Wow, romantic. Or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, you could just like, Majima Breaker style on them. That barely uses the arms. Ah, 
I hate these tiny arm boys. I mean, we could just destroy this, right? We don't need to hack it. Like, I have an RPG, we could just kind of... Kablooey. Great, because Snake is like verge of death, so you you better have done something. You know anyone in this chat? Uh, B. You'll know B. Faustini. And me. Hi. I'm here. Mr. Streamer. Yeah, everyone other than Johnny is just, like, not having a good time right now. <laughs> I hate that stock noise. Oh. I forgot Metal Gear Ray was here. I don't know how I forgot that. He was in the cutscene earlier. I can't believe Snake died on that tanker two years ago. <laughs> that, that's a good thing, right? It's a two-letter thing, so it's probably the Patriots. Naomi? What's up? Aren't you dead? You're dead. Hold on. Hello. Oh. Hello. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. Hal's girlfriend who subsequently died. Like a half hour later. The virus you uploaded is using GW as a conduit to annihilate the entire AI network. Mm -hmm. It's set to destroy all four AIs, along with JD, the core that tied them all together. I've set this video to play back once they're all gone. Oh, so she, she just knew this was going to happen. That's good. <laughs> Sons of the Patriots was only the beginning. The Patriots were planning to use nanomachines to implement the system over the entire population. I had an obligation to stop it. With Olga. Help from Sunny. I miss Olga. She helped me. She believed her talents could help you all put GW to rest. What she created was an anti AI fox die. Anti AI fox this die. This virus's name is Fox Alive. <laughs> it's. <laughs> the conceptual opposite of the nano machines that I created all those years ago. 
We wish to free the captured fox. Fox alive. free in the wild. Why did the fucking fox alive, man? You know what? No, I've played this for four games. Fox alive makes perfect sense. Fox die has been a major thing since the first game. I think three is the only game where Fox die hasn't existed. Strange feeling, leaving a message to be delivered after you've died. I don't know. They could have gone with like something the opposite of a fox. If you're listening, I don't know. Yeah, Fox Die couldn't have existed in 3 because Snake didn't exist. Well, Solid Snake didn't exist. Naked Snake existed, who then became Big Boss, who was then cloned to make Solid, Liquid, and Solid a Snake. I hate this game series. It's so good, but it's so dumb. But I never got the chance. The joy. References. Thank you, Hal. Thank you. Cause she carried on the boss's legacy or something. I don't know. Hal. Yeah. Naomi did it. Ah, oh, let's go. Snake and Orkhan also did it, but Naomi also, you know? Good on her. Eh. Snake and Orkhan is like the most likely thing. Orkhan's just. Snake. Bye, I don't know, whatever. Hear me. <laughs> country is an innocent child once more. A new dawn is rising. Now. A new destiny for herself. Snake. The time has come. Yeah. <laughs> Earned your rest. I feel like I should be laughing at this, but <laughs> Come on, Snake, you can rest now, and he's just like, I I'm dying. <laughs> Yeah, snake. Snake's not doing too hot. Snake. 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 Don't 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna really hope saving the game doesn't mess anything up here. Uh, cause it did last time I finished an act. It's working this time. That's good. Brother! I live on through this arm. Wait here. I'll get a medic. Okie dokie. Are we still in Outer Haven? Yeah. Oh, hey, dude. That's not Otacon. Here he is. Liquid. Rise and shine, Snake. Look. The war is over. You. Why would I want to do that? This is just as I'd hoped things would end. Well, back before father's time, before Zero gave birth to the Patriots, the U.S., China, and the Soviet Union formed a secret pact. 
Exposition! The organization they created was called the Philosophers. Yes. In two world wars, it spread its roots and extended its reach. After that, the Philosophers splintered, and factions began to squabble over the fortune they'd amassed. They called it the Philosophers Legacy. And that's the thing the big boss had to hold on to, but later provide the foundation for Evertalk's patriots. Zero sought to use his riches to achieve world domination. Our father, big boss, sought to free himself from that chokehold. His dream was to create an army of free citizens, one that answered to no government. Outer heaven. But he failed because of you. Nine years ago, I tried to free us from the control of our genes. Four years later, our dear brother Solidus sought to free us from the control of the Patriots' means. All of that, all of it, was nothing more than a process of trial and error, the end result of which is Outer Haven. To be free from sons of the Patriots, the ultimate form of external control imposed on the Patriots' soldiers. Uh huh. It's just me who keeps missing why Liquid's doing bad stuff here by stopping the Patriots. Free from the system. Free from ID control. Our minds free from their prisons. That is the haven I've yearned for. Oh yeah, this is this is Revolver Ocelot. He's he's not doing well. It's technically Ocelot. I don't know. He he's an old man. He's been an old man for a while now. The battle has ended, but we are not yet free. I like that he has an ID badge, so that no one forgets that Liquid is Liquid. <laughs> they both keel over of old age. Well, uh, that's kind of what happened in the first game with Fox Die, but then they cut off his arm and put it in Ocelot to keep him going. Oh, come on, give me that CQC final boss. He pumped him, he suppressed the nano machine so that he could fight one last time, basically. But they weren't always equal. Liquid had the superior genes. But thought he had the inferior genes. That was a nano machine's brother. That was a heroin vial. Oh, yeah, he has a different arm. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, Tag's got it. Why did Snake just throw himself at Liquid? What did he expect to, to do there? Ow! That's gonna hurt! A lot! Okay, slow down buddy, slow down granddad. It'll be, you might be right, I might just keel over at this point. <laughs> Ooh! Alright, that's gonna hurt. This can be a challenge. I mean... I used to be our... He said it! Let me see the emotes in chat, buddy. Let me see them.
One last time. Topless atop. Metal Gear. Snake's not even topless. They should both be topless, alright? That's that's my take on it. Yakuza style, you know? Ow. Ow. Let's fight phase three, let him grab me? Do I, can I just tech the throw? What is this, Guilty Gear? That's the only fighting game I reference he says. You can tack throws in basically any fighting game, but... I want to get grabbed. Okay. Does he get... Does, is, it, is it that he kisses Snake? Aww. They're in love. the kiss. Alright, I'll do it for the kiss. <laughs> oh, the classic health bar! And it says Solid Snake. Oh, that's great. It's just like the first game. This is it. This is Pete Kojima. I have more health. This game is nothing but fan service, and I love it. Dun, dun. Oh, it plays like Tekken. Hold on. Yo, block this overhead. Yo, it actually does. Yo, check out check out my electric wind, wind god fist real quick. Oh god. Yo, my movement is nasty. Wait, I actually have Electric Wing Godfist. <laughs> Why do I have Electric Wing Godfist? What the hell? Yeah, get get up, please. I have to press triangle to get up. Um, bow, bow. Dun, 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 dun. Ow. Yeah, th there was a there was a thing when it first came out about like, oh, why 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 Liquid Kiss Snake? Ow, okay. Grandpa's got the better kicks on me. Wait, yeah, let me... Ow? Ow? Controls. Okay, I can guard. Long press... CQC. While dashing body blow. Don't dash, move camera. Special button when it's selected. You get dunked on? God damn. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I actually do have some, like, Tekken strings here. This is great. Bro, block this low. I can't believe I'm a genius. Ah, okay, that's not safe on 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 hit apparently. <laughs> right to the torso. Oh, the flashbacks. Oh, this is great. He's gonna do the bull charge, isn't he? He has to. Oh, it's like... Each phase. Oh, this is great! <laughs> what that? I'm beating his ass, let's go. Oh, all right. That that hits pretty hard. Okay. Dun, 
Damn. I'm just gonna smack him over the back of the head a bunch. Oh! Perfect timing, let's go. Ow. Okay. I have Gorilla Facts. Would you like a Gorilla Facts? Oh, thank god for Electric Wing Godfist. Oh, I'm gonna die. This is bad. Yo, can someone can someone be a GM Redeemer Gorilla Fact? Actually, I might throw one in free for today. All right, Gorilla Fact coming in. Two Gorilla Facts. Let's go. All right. Uh, let me go to the Order Soul Dust Loop page. Uh, and look for the move that's like 60 on block. Let me just search like 60. Oops. 60. Uh, that's not there. Okay, it's not there. Is it 30? Oh, I might not. Oh, I, it, oh wait, that was it. Uh, no, that's recovery. Damn. Uh, damn it. Okay, I'll be two seconds. I need. There's a. There's a move that Order Soul has, that is, something insane, like plus thirty on block. I need to find the exact move. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um. Gorilla fact of the day. In uh, Guilty Gear Accent Core Plus R, Order Soul has a move called uh, Blockhead Buster. Let me find it real quick. Uh, oops, where are we looking? Here it is, Blockhead Buster. Um, oh. There it is, Blockhead Buster. Uh, and let me, wait, let me, I can't, I can't see my own screen. I need to be able to see this. Um, alright, here, here we go. And Blockhead Buster, at level 3, is a projectile that is plus 37 on block. That is plus 37. That means you have a whole half second where you can act before the opponent can do anything. There's a gorilla fact for you. Um, there you go, that's today's gorilla fact. We'll get a, We'll get a real gorilla fact going as well. Uh Amazing facts about Gorilla. This isn't Monkey yeah, it's Gorilla though. It's Ungabunga Gorilla. Uh Gorillas and chimpanzees walk quadrupedrally, which means on all fours, and they use their knuckles to carry the weight of their head and torso. That's that's there's another gorilla fact. Uh, times three stay hydrated, absolutely. All right. This is poor marketing. You asked for a gorilla fact, you got a gorilla fact. It's <laughs> a bad guy fact, which is a gorilla fact, he misses wife. Oh yeah, because Order Soul is like the first incarnation of Soul, so it's before Arya comes back. I want to knock him off, right? Oh! I text the throw! I'm a genius! Oh, there it is. Classic, it's just us a lot now. 
어. 어, 이제서 voice actor. What a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. Oh, I can I can wake up on that. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'm melting to you. God, he's good. Oh yeah, I need to I need to mash triangle when he throws me. Okay. But you're so supreme. Ow. Stop it. Okay, and I can mash triangle during that string apparently. I'm just gonna mash both buttons until he does something. Oh, I have to see you see, right? Yeah, get teched. Still... Oh, that was it. Damn it. Okay, I'll I'll not tech it next time. Nice. Someday you go through the rain. Ow! Get off. This is new life. Forget my life. I'm not. I'm not winning these these traded blows. Yeah, I can't recover health. Okay. There it is. Right? No. Ow! Nice grab. Ow. Nice tech. <laughs> Damn it, my Oki. My Oki. I need to I need to get that action there. I might not be able to get the kiss now, because I'll die. Oh, let's go. Did I do it? Oh, this song is called Old Snake. Wow. It's not over yet. <laughs> oh yeah, we're just trading blows. Oh yeah, baby. I can button mash better than you, old man. I hit him once for each, each iteration, I guess. Do I have to see you see him? Oh, so I'm literally like punching the liquid out of him. I, genuinely, is that what's happening? Because it, it was also a lot in like the the third phase. Yeah, I can't see if you see him now. God, that's an amazing fight. By no means difficult. But that's a hell of a fight. I mean, yes and no, Tag, because, I mean, any liquid really pee, blood, nut. America will 
in the chaos. No case. I'm sorry, I skipped on the case, guys. I t I had the chance. No law, no order. And then, for, and then, tech the throw instead of being a good citizen. He's dying. Don't worry. The people will fight. And through battle, they will know the fullness of life. At last, our father's will is out in heaven. Is complete. But big boss's will isn't good. It's the boss's will. Yeah, yeah, he's he's boss's son. Cause I, I saw they implied that in three. Beasts created by man. Unless the light is put out, the shadows cannot be raised. Then put out the lights. Oh, so he's saying that we're both copies of Liquid now. Do it. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Yeah! Oh, what a man. Oh, Ocelot. You are one hell of a villain. Are they playing the theme? Oh no. Oh hey buddy. Alright, that's also a lot down. Sonny's program destroyed JD's brain, but left the brain stem intact. Uh-huh. She analyzed Naomi's black box and separated the Patriot's control system from the vital lifelines of society. Water, air, electricity, food, medicine, communication, transportation. She cut off the Patriot's control while preserving modern civilization. Maybe. It was her way of avenging Olga, her mother. Or maybe she wanted to shape the future in- Thank god they finally just said it explicitly. Or maybe it was just one big defragmentation. So it's a movie, yeah. This game is, is mostly cutscene. The AI is truly a living thing. Barbara. Yeah. Its reign has crumbled away, and still, our civilization. It's not as bad as Death Stranding, where the final cutscene is literally a movie length. It's like two hours. Lives on. I wonder if you did the right thing. Actually, yeah, all the Metal Gear games are mostly cutscene, but it's most egregious. In four. Cause I think I think Metal Gear Solid 1 is like 50% cutscene, as is two probably. Um I don't know about three, but it's it's yeah, it's most egregious in, in this game. Is it possible? I don't know. I have the home menu, so technically. It's very much an interactive movie. More than it is a game. Uh, 
Sim. Epilogue. Naked Sim. Like, Naked Snake? Sure. Probably like Naked Snake. You look amazing. Meryl. Wow. Oh, hey, dude. Hey. Congratulations. Hey, hey Campbell. <laughs> Why does she have the gun on her hip? Yeah, they lived. Johnny Johnny helped him out. No, that's that's Meryl, that's Mei Ling. And that's the Colonel. Wait, actually, is that Mei Ling? I think that's Mei Ling. Alright, good night, Emery. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, that's Mei Ling. <laughs> I'm going to kill you now. The safety's not on. Is it? Oh, the, or is this, I mean, the safety's on, isn't it? I don't know. Except so it wasn't the first game, right? She was like, I think it was like, shoot me, and then the safety was on, and she was like, going to walk me down the aisle. I'm still mad. But now... You've got a chance to win me over. You're right. We have plenty of time now. Oh yeah, did you not know that since like the first game? Meryl. You look beautiful. Also, because I recognized him as the Grandpa Max voice actor, so I just kind of thought of him as absolutely white dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's Grandpa Max. Has been since the very first game. Yeah, why not? I might not be a priest, he might just like be legally allowed to marry people. Dearly beloved, oh no, he's a priest, okay. Gathered here today to join these two in holy matrimony. Let us give thanks for the life they will soon share. Oh, put the least effort in here. He's just in his regular outfit. They have love everlasting. Let's all send this new team on their first mission. <laughs> hey, huh? go on, do it. Uh, shit, oh. pant, shit, pant, shit, pant, shit, pant, shit, pant. Shit, pant, shit, pant, shit, pant, shit, pant, shit. <laughs> Drabbing. Oh, Trebin. <laughs> what? What? A shower of flowers, compliments of Trebin. And 
A little something extra for me. Yeah, all right. Draven can just do that. That's fine. Wow, a child. Is this the first? Yeah, this is the first time Sony's seen like a another child, right? Who who's that child? Yeah, Drebin is very much just a Yakuza character. He's he can just do it. Monkey. Come on, Johnny. I hate this ship, but do it. Do it just once. Why is the monkey rib? I don't know. I thought he looked really skinny because you can see his rib cage. He's got like pecs and then just no, like waist. Snake's husband, oh, Con's husband left him, even. Snake. Thank you. Right? Oh, snake. Probably snake. Definitely snake. This is the most, like, hospitable room in the entire- I've seen in the entire series. Wait, that's Raiden. What? How did, like, any- oh, hey, little Virgil. Yeah, he's been repeopleized. Jack, how are you feeling? Oh, mechanical attachments. Yeah. Do you mind if I sit down? No more world to save, gotta see your child. I don't mean to ride him. He's traumatized a lot by being a child soldier under like Jack. one of the top war criminals of all time, you know? Don't shut me out. I need you to listen to me. And also, like the first time he saw his girlfriend after that, he didn't even know if she was real, so you know. Child. Look at the boy. <laughs> Cute. He looks like Virgil from this kid. Devil May Cry. <laughs> Devil May Cry exists by now. It's it's twenty fourteen. She lied. I had a healthy baby boy. Roy pretended to be my husband. To protect me. And our son. 
only until you completed your mission to shield us from patriot eyes yeah this is this is why Raiden bad oh right why Raiden good he was essentially a deadbeat because they needed him they wanted him to complete the mission because I forgot that part even his family to protect us I'm sorry, Jack. I wanted to tell you. So he's yeah. Really... So Colonel's the asshole. John, aren't you going to say hello? John, is that a cringe name? He even has a little katana. He is a Virgil. Alrighty, John. Now block this overhead. Yeah, MGR is has like good reason to not be canon. Scared of me, huh? Because just kind of pisses on his character arc, but I don't know. I don't blame you. It's okay. But it's a fun game by Platinum, so like, what can you do? Okay. I think you're cool. Kinda like a comic book superhero. You sound like Iron Mouse. He is just Virgil. John, Virgil, whatever his surname is, I forgot. John Virgil Alighieri. There you go. I'm done running. Even if it's Dante Alighieri, I don't care. George Hill. You know what? This is no. He's not. He's not canonically called Dante Alighieri. I don't think he has a surname. I'm. I'm gonna go with just like Dante Spadison because he's son of Sparta. Yeah. Wow. Like a scene from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> you know, this the scene where they have the weird like half beast baby thing. Oh yeah, Redgrave is is the fake name that he uses. You're my husband. Dante <laughs> Devil Maker, right, yeah. Like he spends seventeen years trying to think of the the shop name and just settles on his surname. I'm going to do my very best. To be the wife and mother. This family deserves. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just got a sick barcode tattoo. I don't see a problem. Well, that leaves one person's story to wrap up, right? the title screen. Uh, 
That's implying he got paid for saving the world. Reload the flames of war. War has changed. Hey, they Our said the lion. Our war is over. Man. But there's one more thing I must do. punishment I must endure. Erase my genes. Wipe this meme from the face of the earth. <laughs> I know he means like a clone, but I hate it. I hate when they say memes. This is my final mission. Snake. What you doing? Deconstructing a gun? Nope. He can't have children. Yeah, this is this is the thing I should explain. Um Real quick, the rampant, the rampant fox die thing is a case of like if Snake didn't die, the fox die would mutate to the point where it would just spread and kill literally everyone. So that's why Snake has to die. I think the one person who'd be willing to do it is dead, because that's Naomi. <sighs> Damn. Like, that's it, he just does it. soda for you not like I never touched the stuff soda just agreed with the nanos better <laughs> the nano machines break down alcohol before it has a chance to get you drunk so that explains it no need to hold back anymore huh yeah well it ain't all sunshine and rainbow a lot of folks lost their entire sense of being the moment SOP went offline. You mean SOPS? I heard some people are going through withdrawals. SOP syndrome. Yep. SOP kept more than just alcohol under control. Those poor slobs are virtually naked now. From what I hear, over 10% are showing symptoms. I guess getting rid of the Patriots won't solve all our problems overnight. You, uh, probably already suspected this, but I'm not actually an employee of AT Security. Huh? The Patriots raised me to be a gun law. Huh. <laughs> the Patriots? My 
earliest memories are of the LRA. <laughs> they kidnapped me, forced me to fight. Yep, you're staring at a former child soldier. Hey. My parents, brothers and sisters, all killed in the war. Guess that makes me what you call a war. After that, the Patriots picked me up and brought me into the family business. I was Drebin, number 893. There's a whole lot of pawns like me all over the world. How do you suppose I laundered guns like I did? Because <laughs> they let me. In fact, I was under strict orders to back you guys from the start. You what? <sighs> hey, man. Don't take it personal. I wasn't the only one under their orders. Huh? Explain. <laughs> Meryl and... They probably never realized it themselves, but... Rat Patrol, Team Zero One. Voila. Patriot. Patriot. <laughs> oh, that's good. Played like a violin. <laughs> but why? Obviously, Liquid's plot was a threat to the Patriots. So they planned to have you guys take care of it. Didn't turn out quite how they planned, though, did it? Yeah, well, I don't think they expected you to crash their system and wipe them out. So, does that mean you're out of a job now? <laughs> Are you kidding? I got the dread. All the Drebbins in the world are in on it. From now on, we're in business for ourselves. We are pawns no more. He's in there. The White House might have lost its taste for unilateralism, started to rebuild. But there's a lot of failed states out there that went bankrupt from their PMC habits, and they owe a shitload of money. Now, only question is, who's going to pick up the tab? I'm sure these new governments will try and keep it under control with PMC corporate reform laws, but it ain't going to be good enough. They all sunk up to their eyeballs in the war economy. Might not be a new world order, but the old order under the war economy is gone for good. I'm guessing the UN is gonna be more important than ever. What with multilateralism, you know. A certain president Beat their ass Meryl. back during the Cold War. For in the development of this organization rests the only true alternative to war. Then again, the UN itself's just an old 20th century relic. Make me think about it. When you look at its history. Meryl turns out to be the best character in the series, despite choosing Johnny. Uh, that's right. The nano machines used to keep you sober. Crush. Mix. Burn. Repeat. What? Hey, Uncle Hal. Can I give him the Mark Three? Huh? He's kind of. A new friend. <laughs> he lives near here. We can't understand each other's language, but we're having fun. <laughs> Sony's great. Meryl Otokon, Sony. He's my very part of the original cast, friend. I guess. Minus Sony. <laughs> who's Olga's child. But Olga did nothing wrong also. <laughs> Sonny. It's okay if you want to live outside now. It's your life. 
There are other havens out there. The sun looks so pretty. Yeah, Otacon's just a caretaker, basically. Uncle Hal? She got ball ballet shoes on. E yeah, about that. E mm, e mm, yeah. E mm. Is sick. So he went on a trip to help him get better. Um. I don't think her dad has ever been in the in the series. She helped out in two, basically. No. She was she was on their side in two, and I guess she's dead now or something. They don't really explain much of it. She just, she passes on the cyborg ninja to ride, and that's her job. Snake had a hard life. He needs some time to rest. Everyone misses Otacon's husband. That's it. That's the game. So, so Otacon and Sony developed what they called the Metal Gear Solid, the Metal Gear Mark III, even, which was like their their thing. It wasn't like a Metal Gear like the others. It was like Otacon's attempt at reclaiming what his dad designed and what he designed. For good. That was a beast. Anyway. Roger, wait, Roger Craig Smith? Hold on. No, I recognize. I recognize that name. I'll. I'll look at it in the meantime. Voice of God, Hideo Kojima. That's amazing. That's Sonic! Oh, Sonic was in this game. And Chris. Oh wait, like, Chris Resident Evil? That's good. Oh, the Sorrow's back. And Cyborg Ninja. Wait, Big Boss? Big Boss doesn't have a voice role in this game, right? Oh, he ain't dead. That's right. <laughs> Good. No need for you to go just yet. It's been a long time. Big boss? That looks like Solidus. But also like what? Wait, does he have the the gun? Big boss. The boss is gone. Debriefing. Dad's here after like 10, 15 years of not a being killed. 
He has the boss's gun. Oh yeah, last time they met they were just trying to kill each other. Yeah, he really put the dead in deadbeat, because he was presumed dead for, like, the entirety of the Metal Gear Solid series. My son. I'm not here to fight. Or should I call you brother? Brother? What? What? <laughs> Solidus, damn it, the perfect clone. Wait, so how is how are you alive? Perfect clone. Zero and the proxy AIs that came after him were convinced that Solidus was me. Now nah, what? I was implanted with nano machines, kept in a state of eternal sleep by JD and the proxy AI. Oh, it was the one that's on the wrong side. They had me sealed away completely. Yeah. Not only my physical body, but my will too. The technology was similar to what they used to restrain the B and B members you encountered. For me to wake again, the system had to be destroyed, one way or another. So the nano machines were keeping him unconscious. To bring me back to life and to end the Patriots. That meant destroying the AI and killing the man, JD and Zero. Right before you uploaded the virus into GW, the way to JD was opened, but only through the physical manifestation of GW. That's when we finally learned the location of this man. Fulgen? Zero. Zero. For me, <laughs> and for them. For Naomi, nothing was more important. And it was for that that they put their grand scheme into motion. Eva stole my body from them, and reconstructed it by replacing the missing parts with pieces from liquid and solidus. Uh... And Ocelot, in order to fool he's the dead system, now. Yeah. Use nano machines. That's why I had the different arm. To transplant Liquid's personality onto his own. He used hypnotic suggestion to turn himself into Liquid's mental doppelganger. For all our advances in nanotechnology, information, and genetic control. They've never managed to control people at will, let alone turn one person totally into another. Under certain conditions, someone can be made to play a specific role, act like someone else. Cats do love to play snakes. Also. 
I'm down here, you furry. Oh, hey, buddy. Major Tom. Zero grew old, and by the end, his patriots were being run by a network without shape or form. What do you mean, without shape or form? The proxies were only one small part of the vast cycle that Zero created. Corporations, for-profits, and research institutions that comprise the military-industrial complex were part of it, too. They operated on budgets automatically allotted to them by the proxies. Accounts maintained by the Patriots. The network covered everything from weapons R&D and investment to production and marketing. It encompassed the people the companies, even the laws that protect them. Politics and economics became nothing more than iterations of the same oppressively uniform system. I don't think anyone realized that it was all a setup, a mere set of norms. The Patriots were those norms, a neural network reduced to its simplest form. That's what they really represented. Uniformity without individual will, without change. But then one day, those norms suddenly deviated from that pattern and underwent a mutation. It was like the birth of a new life form. The system found a new way to propagate itself. War. The Patriots had crafted for their unified state quickly became dependent on a single business, the war economy. Meanwhile, the political cause of creating a cleaner, safer battlefield provided a convenient catalyst. By then, the system was no longer being steered by Zero's will or anyone else's. It was then that the norms manifested as AIs, the inheritors of Zero's will, began to reproduce and take on a life of their own. Zero's original okay. intent was to carry on the boss's will and establish a unified world state, an inside world. But his successors failed to carry on his will. Eventually, JD became the very age itself propagating its will as it pleased, and this age chose to act through economics instead of nation-states. Powered by the industrial and digital revolutions that came before it, this age gave birth to a twisted economic revolution, a battlefield revolution. It created a new world without substance. In this new world, there were no ideologies, no principles, no ideals, not even the thing she treasured most, loyalty. There was only the war economy. It was a colossal error in judgment. One zero couldn't possibly have foreseen. With the American system in a state of collapse, Patriot society <laughs> has reverted to a blank The moral of Metal Gear Solid is British people are evil. Man was the source of it all. That is true. And he doesn't even realize it. He's completely unaware of the fact that he led the world to the brink of ruin. <laughs> even with so much bad blood between us, it's funny. Now that I'm actually face to face with him again, the hatred is gone. All I feel is a deep sense of longing and pity. Did Zero really hate me? <laughs> or did he fear me? Too late to ask him now.
original members. The paramedic. Sigint. Eva. Ocelot. They've all passed on. Yep. Only zero is left. <laughs> Everything has its beginning. But it doesn't start at one. It starts long before that. In chaos. The world is born from zero. The moment zero becomes one is the moment the world springs to life. One becomes two. Two becomes ten. Ten becomes one hundred. Taking it all back to one solves nothing. So long as zero remains, one will eventually grow to one hundred again. Is that about a kill zero? Big Boss finally isn't a war criminal. Oh. He was such a good man at the start. Favor, will you? 
take me over to her. There's one more thing Naomi wanted me to tell you about the oh, old fox die in your body. The one that mutated. The new fox die uh, inside you continues to multiply. At the same time, it is preventing the old mutated fox die from reproducing. A new fox die is uprooting the old. Naomi confirmed it in her follow-up. The mutants are receding. Uh -huh. What uh -huh. long, they'll be gone entirely. Does that mean the mutant strain won't cause an epidemic? Oh. It will only live as long as you do. <laughs> but even then, the process will just repeat itself. One day, the new fox die too will start to mutate and become a new threat. But that is, if you manage to live that long. Am I going to die? Everyone dies. You can't stop it. You can't run away from it. Something. Don't. Don't waste the life you have left fighting. Yeah, he, he didn't say that, B. <laughs> and as a man. Oh, Lincoln Memorial? Yeah, Big Boss doesn't have the rapid aging, just Snake. I understand. 
understand the truth behind your courage. Oh. He's done it before. Zero and I, liquid and solidus, we all fought a long, bloody war for our liberty. We fought to free ourselves from nations and systems and norms and ages. No matter how hard we tried, the only liberty we found was on the inside. That's a good point. They don't have a backup to just bury them. This is a snake's job now. The boss and I may have chosen different paths, but in the end, we were both trapped inside the same cage. Liberty. Oh! Prisoner of fate. You are no longer a seed of war. Oh, it's time for you to see the outside world with your own eyes. Your body and your soul are your own. <laughs> they just be like, yeah, that's a sex galson, bro. Forget about us. Live for yourself. Oh.
place is good. Isn't it? That's Metal Gear Solid 4. That's the game. Am I going to get DMCA for this song? This feels like an actual regular song, not like a song for the game. I hope I don't get DMCA'd by this right at the end. Just to get Audio Jungle, Audio Jungle, Audio Jungle, Audio Jungle. Sample, sample music, audio jungle, sample, free sample from audio jungle. Is an actual song. Uh oh. Uh, well, no more of that for the stream, everybody. That's that's for me to listen to then. Uh, enjoy the silence, everybody. I'm not gonna play something else over it because it'll be totally inappropriate, probably. This song was great, by the way. Shame you can't listen to it. <laughs> oh my god, what a game! It's that's a it's a weird game. I like that a lot. I really enjoyed that. Uh it's so incredibly fan servicey uh, in every way possible. Um, I would only actually recommend it if you have. I could put that on. I'll just leave it in silence. The credits won't last too long, I'm sure. That is an amazing game, but I can only recommend it if you've actually played them. Um, if, if you've played the Metal Gear Solid series, this game is going to be amazing and mean so much. And if you have not played a single one, this game is not going to mean anything. Yeah, but yeah, play this game if you have the chance. Um, if you if you play the play the Metal Gear Solid series, if you have the chance, this game series is great. It's goddamn cool. If this was your first Metal Gear Solid, this would just be an absolutely crazy experience. Um, 
And yeah, there will have been people who did that because they've all just got the PS3 and been like, oh, wow, Metal Gear, okie dokie, then I'm, I'm Canadian now, I guess. Oh, hey. Why am I drinking more? I really need to pee. Um, but yeah, that's a great experience. We're not done with Metal Gear. Uh, there's still Peace Walker, uh, Revengeance, and 5 to go through a uh, minimum. I'm probably going to call it there, I think, for the series. Uh, but this is this is going to be the last stream for a little bit. Uh, I'm, t I'm going on a bit of a break. Probably now, it, it, I don't know how long I'm going to be on the break for, but I just want to take a bit of time off. I want to be, be giving my A-game to these streams, so I thought I'd finish up this series and then come back soon. Uh, we still got the rest of the credits to get through. But yeah, this is gonna be the last stream for a little bit. Um, if you wanna, you know, come and hang out with me still, I'll still be on the internet. And I'll still be on my Discord and I'll tweet about stuff if I do anything. Um, you know, you'll see when I return. And I'm hopefully going to return with a lot of stuff. Um, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon series will still be happening. Um, just when I come back. And I'll probably be back just in time for the new Melty, actually. So that'll be neat. I'll, I might be back before that point. Um, but yeah, that's that's all for now. Not stream over yet, but just as a heads up, that this is this is the last stream for a little bit. While I do some stuff and be like, maybe pull my devil trigger? Maybe. Maybe. I might be having, I, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on when I get back. I want to I wanna re reincorporate co-ops, you know, like multiplayer streams. I've barely co-streamed with anyone for a while, and co-streaming with Genus the other day was really fun. Uh, and so I'm going to try and, try and do that more. Um, yeah, there's going to there's be a few things coming up. It's just yeah, going on going on a tiny break, just to refresh myself and get back in the groove. Squawk and flatmates co streams absolutely. Yeah, jo it's been really fun whenever I play with Josh, like play get play fighting games with people. I want to do some more like co op fighting games streams instead of like solo ranked stuff. Like, I just want to sit down and get a group of friends who don't know how to play the game and be like, yo, want to play Ultimax for the next two hours? And just, like, no brain about. Or something like that. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna plan some stuff while I'm gone. Um, I've already got some stuff planned. Um, I don't know when I'll be coming back. I'll work it out. It's basically because, like, I'm pretty busy for the next couple weeks anyway. And I just also wanted to not be stagnant with everything I'm doing. So that's 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 basically it. Once I'm a little bit less busy, I'll be back. Um, backing at it. Oh wait, we're not playing copyright music anymore. You can you can listen to this now. I just remembered that. <laughs> also, fun fact, free Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is fourth on trending in the US. Uh, it's not trending in the UK. Oh wait, actually, let me look on trending instead of for you. Yeah, it's not trending in the UK, but... Free Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is trending. That's fun. Also, apparently, like, National Boob Day. So, happy National Boob Day, everybody. I'm gonna Google that hashtag in my own time. Hopefully, there's an Ultimax port. Um, Playboy? Assassin's Creed? What? Let me... Look, Playboy and Assassin's Creed with that. Yay. 
Yeah, Ma yeah Max got Marvel trending, which is good. Because Max should get Marvel trending. Max revived Killer Instinct. He can revive Marvel. Actually, he revived Marvel 3 as well. Kind of. I wonder if that website's still up. Apparently I've gone to this website before. The website is not still up, it's now for Metal Gear Solid 5. Cringe. Hey man, Kojima, great job. Now I'm gonna replay the entire series. <laughs> Oh, what's my rank? Snake, wait up! <gasps> you forgot these. No thanks. What? I'm quitting. <gasps> Snake. He quit the Siggies. Kill you. Where will you go? Our fight is finished. There's nothing left for us to do. No. There's one thing I still have to do. I have to see this age off. See what the future brings. Sounds good to me. I'll go with you. Huh. Otacron. I'm gonna be dead soon. You don't have to come. You said it yourself, Snake. There's nothing inside you can pass on to the next generation. No genes. No memes. <laughs> You're man-made. You're a beast. I know. A blue rose. There won't be any happy Beauty and the Beast ending for me. What little time I have left will be spent living as a beast. A shadow of the inside. Of the old age. Exactly. That's why you need me. As a witness. A witness? Yeah. Someone on the outside to bear witness to your final days. Someone to pass on your story. Not that I'm the only witness. But I'll remember everything you were. And stick with you to the end. Otacon. Besides, you wouldn't let me suffer Sonny's eggs alone, would you? Ha <laughs> ha! Woman can't cook. And that's the final line of dialogue in the entire game. I really thought the game crashed then. Egg. Come quick! They're ready! They look yummy! Sort of like the sun. It's rising again. Metal Gear Rising. Of course they are. All right, what rank did I get? Um, how many alerts? Seventy. 10 kills, well that wasn't intentional, and eagle. I'll take it. I didn't use a single special item though, that's pretty good. Wait, does that mean eagle's like the 10th best? Hold on. Experienced weapon handlers who racked up their headshot count. Tight the water to ravenous soldiers with a hunger for health items. Expert soldiers who neutralized a small number of enemies were rarely spotted and died only a few times. Ah, neat. The race gun. 
High precision automatic pistol. Ready it with the L1 button. Fire with the one. Okay. Suit. Nice. Command vest. Nice, nice, nice. Items you obtained will become available when you meet after you meet up with Metal Gear Mark II during your next playthrough, except for iPod music. That's the game. Race war gun. I was gonna say that doesn't seem like a great name for a, for a, for a weapon. And that's it. Now I can bin the PS3. Don't need it anymore. Apart from for Ultimax and Peace Walker. There you go. That's it. I'm I'm done with that game. All right. Yeah. This is this is this is. See you later for a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a break. Sort some stuff out. Get some stuff planned. Have a good time. Uh. And yeah, we're gonna send you over to Genius's stream because he's still playing Paladins. Um. So until next time, everybody. Say vegetables, eat your prayers, uh, bip bip and take care, because we are off to Genius' stream. Uh, so thanks for coming, everybody. I'll see you when I'm next live. Bye. Oh snap, raid, squat, Lord Squirt. What's up, Squirt? Oh, he did? That's incredible. I'm proud. Yeah, here's all. You see all our, all our emotes are here now, Squirt. Random fact. Did you know that Paladins used to have a four legendary card system, but they kept balancing them so much to the point where they now have three cards and most of the champions don't even have one of the legendary cards that they started with? Big facts. A lot of them have also been...